Tonight on the 10 at 10, an emotional day of testimony. I felt like there wasn't really anything I could do as a bystander. As bystanders take the stand in the Derek Chauvin trial. And as Minnesota's vaccine eligibility expands to anyone over the age of 16, tips for snagging those hard to get appointments. Plus a grass fire gets dangerously close to homes in the North Metro. This is Fox 9 News at 10. Emotional testimony today in the Derek Chauvin trial has jurors hear from the young woman who recorded the deadly encounter between the former Minneapolis police officer and George Floyd. And that tops tonight's 10 at 10. I'm Amy Hockert. And I'm Randy Meyer. She was one of several witnesses who took the stand today, all of them bystanders on the day George Floyd died. Fox 9's Sarah Danik has more and she joins us now on today's testimony. Sarah. Yeah, lots to get to tonight. We'll start first with Minneapolis firefighter and trained EMT Genevieve Hansen. She was off duty on May 25th and told the jury she was just on a walk in the area when she saw those police lights and heard some screaming from bystanders. And when Hansen saw what was unfolding, she thought George Floyd needed some medical attention and wanted to check for a pulse. But she says she was kept from assisting by the officers at the scene and just felt helpless. Because um, there was a man being killed and I would have, had I had, had access to a, a call similar to that, um, I would have been able to provide medical attention to the best of my abilities and this human was denied that. And another big name on the witness list today, Darnella Frazier, the now 18 year old whose cell phone video of Floyd's death went viral around the world. She was not shown on camera today during court because she was a minor when everything happened. Darnella had been going to cup foods with her younger cousin that day when she says she saw Chauvin's knee on Floyd's neck. She describes how Chauvin was reacting to the crowd that was gathering around. He just stared at us, looked at us. It, he had like this cold look, heartless. He didn't care. It seemed, it seemed as if he didn't care what we were saying. It didn't change anything he was doing. And finally, some contentious moments between defense attorney Eric Nelson and 38th in Chicago witness Donald Williams, who had also been on the stand, you'll remember yesterday, Today, he testified that he had called 911 after the scene cleared to, quote, report the police and was cross-examined by the defense about getting more angry with officers outside of Cup Foods. He started calling them names. Yes? You, you heard that. Yeah, you heard right? the video. You called him a tough guy, right? You, you watched the video. You call him a real man, right? You watched the video. Yeah, you can hear some of the tension there. And in total, we heard from six witnesses today. Genevieve Hansen, who you heard from first tonight, the Minneapolis firefighter and EMT. She did not finish her testimony. In fact, Judge Cahill telling her not to argue with the court or counsel and answer only the questions that she's asked after things got heated between her and defense attorney Eric Nelson. Court was adjourned, though, after her testimony and ta the talk from Judge Cahill. She'll be back on the stand first thing tomorrow morning. Randy. All right, Sarah, thank you. Stay with Fox 9 as we continue to follow the Derek Chauvin trial, along with live gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage every day of the trial. We'll also have analysis from legal experts throughout the day. It's all right here on Fox 9.